A couple weeks ago, I convinced Jay Rothwell, that's Boxermat84, to send me the plans for his X31. He had a great video of his X31 doing some spectacular maneuvers and tumbles and crazy stuff like he always does on his videos. Um, but I decided to put a 64 millimeter EDF in mine and try to use the same kind of paddle system uh, that the real plane had on the back. plane flew great, nice and fast, did some really good maneuvers, but it was very heavy with the 4-cell uh, battery, 64mm EDF. It came out to over 27 ounces, so the wing loading was super high. Well, I decided to put a prop on it, and so in the mail this morning, Jay sent me um, a pre-production model of his two-axis swivel, the motor mount swivel that he came out with for that X31. I gotta tell you, it looks really good. It looks like almost a quarter inch plywood. Not heavy at all, but it's very durable. And he pre-assembled it. So the inner ring and outer ring um, are pre-assembled with the steel pins going through. They're epoxied in place. And he even put the um, hardware on there, the swivel joints here. So all I had to do was screw in my uh, two millimeter control rods. And those things just go right up to the servos up here. Very easy system. So basic. Uh, and then you just slide these forks. There's like two forks here that slide right over the 6 millimeter Depron. And you just glue it in place. Real easy. Very basic. But it looks super durable. So I can't wait to give this thing a shot. It's uh, snowing outside, but once the weather clears, I'm going to take it out and give it a nice test. I've got the Microjet version 3 on here now. And uh, next thing I'm going to try is the Microjet, uh, the uh, Super Mega Jet version 2. And ultimately, I want to put my NTM prop drive on there. Uh, that's a 2700 kV NTM prop drive. Spectacular speed with that thing. And see what kind of performance we can get out of that two-axis motor mount.